Not all of us have the drive or the business savvy to build a brand from scratch, nor do we have the time to. But a West Michigan woman who has achieved much success with her startup has had to work especially hard lately. As you're about to see, an accident that could have sidetracked her career didn't, thanks in large part to her positive outlook. Imagine a career that required constant movement. But part of my blog was... It's Carrie Draft's dream job. Eco for the environment, and then the truck part, I wanted to be a motion forward. The personal trainer lives and breathes her brand. In 2006, she founded Eco Trek Fitness with outdoor workout sessions as far north as Traverse City and as far south as Kalamazoo. But she really hit her stride with these whole food fitness bars now available in five states. In between drop-offs with distributors, restocking local store shelves, and in-home one-on-one fitness sessions, Carrie is on the move, emailing and texting clients while riding in her mobile office. Her weekly mileage, mind-boggling. A lot. Hundreds of miles a week. But don't let her action-packed days get you too dizzy. What you don't know is that Carrie has had to get very creative in order to continue at this fast pace. A little more than 100 days ago, she saw her career come to a screeching halt. When you're coming to, it's kind of like, wow, what happened? Where am I? Investigators in Ottawa County are still looking for answers tonight after a very bizarre accident this morning. We mean bizarre. Somehow, a small SUV ended up on a boat docked in the water. July 12, 2012, Carrie was driving on M104 to lead her usual 6 a.m. workout class in Grand Haven. I was feeling this dizziness and flushing and felt that I was going to lose consciousness. And in fact, she did. Carrie regained consciousness, but not on land, on water. My vehicle was resting on a boat that was sitting in the water next to a dock. Find the door handle, I kind of crawled onto the boat, put me in the ambulance. I was whisked away, basically, before the police officers were even there to question me. She had suffered a blowout fracture of her eye socket, requiring 33 stitches at Spectrum Butterworth Hospital. To ensure her safety, as well as the safety of others, Carrie voluntarily did not drive for the 60 days following her accident. She also took multiple medical tests, including wearing a cardiac monitor 24-7 for a month to rule out any heart issues. Ultimately, Carrie's physician diagnosed hypoglycemia. What she experienced that terrifying morning was a symptom known as syncope, a result of her having low blood sugar, and she blacked out behind the wheel. On October 1st, the state of Michigan suspended Carrie's driver's license indefinitely, but the brand manager isn't allowing that to detour her business. Without a driver's license, Carrie has developed a new perspective and appreciation for those less mobile. And surprisingly, it isn't slowing her down. Life deals you certain things and you're never given more than what you can handle. Instead of hitting the brakes, Carrie has adjusted her client's schedule and hired someone to lead her early morning workouts. Plus, being driven around has its advantages. In fact, her productivity, she says, has increased. Even without the ability to drive, this CEO is somehow staying on course with her company's planned growth. I think it's a good lesson for me, though, teaching me a ton about not just humility, but also patience. Mine, though, always hard. Hard to get through the mental thing. You just have to work through it every day. In late January 2013, Carrie will present her medical test results to the state, including a cardiac test and a blood glucose test, to prove that her medical condition the day of the accident has since been resolved. And at that time, she will likely to be eligible. She will be eligible for a Michigan license again.